Welcome to my YouTube channel where I simplify the web. In this video, I'll be simplifying switch statements in JavaScript. In a previous video I made in JavaScript, I explained conditional statements and how to achieve conditional statements using if statements. I'll leave a link to that video in the description of this video so you can check it out if you want to. But apart from using if statements for doing conditional statements, you can also use switch statements which I'll be simplifying in this video. So let's jump straight to the code editor as I explain with examples. For if statements in JavaScript, JavaScript, you have something like if and then you specify a condition and then you execute some code here and then you have else and you specify another condition you have your code here or you can even go forward and still say else if another condition and you specify your code here or you finally use else and you specify your code so it's like if this condition is true this code is run if that one is false and this condition is true this one runs here if this one is false and this one is true this code runs here and if this one is false then this one will just run as the default well switch statement also looks similar so with switch statement, you have your switch and then you have your expression. So basically the switch statement is going to switch between different values that you have specified as conditions of this expression. So you have your open curly brace, you specify your first value, value one, and here in this value one, you run some code. So if this expression evaluates to this value, then you run this code and then you have your break tag and I'll explain why the break tag is important in few seconds. Then you have your second case. You can have as many cases as you want, specifying the different values of this expression here. So here again, you have your code that you want to run and then you break. Then you have your third case value three and you run some code here and you break. And then you can also pass your default. So the default is just like this else block in the if statement. So here in this default, you can run some code and then you can add the break tag. So what the default does is that if this expression does not meet this value and it doesn't meet this value that you have specified as a case, it doesn't meet this other case too, then it's going to run this default. Now let me quickly show you an example. So let's say I have an expression expression here that says 100 minus 50. So here I can pass this expression which I have already done and then I can say if the case is 40 that means if 100 minus 50 which is the expression is 40 then I'm just going to run console.log result is 40. Then I have the break tag. Here I can pass a case of 90 and the code I'm just going to run is console.log result is 90 and then here i can pass a case of 50 and here i'm just going to say console.log result is 50 and then if none of all these other cases are met then here i'm just going to write console.log i don't know the results so if i come here and i execute this using node node test you can see that result is 50 which means 100 minus 50 which is the expression evaluates to 50 and since it meets this case here then we have this log to the console result is 50 if i change this to 60 and i come here and i run no test 100 minus 60 is 40 so it actually meets this case if i change this to 10 come here and i run no test you see result is 90 which actually meets this case but then if i change this to maybe 1 100 minus 1 is 99 but because we don't have any cases here for 99 then it's going to run the default which is I don't know the result which is what we have specified here in the default block. So this is basically how the switch statement work. You switch through different case values of an expression that you have passed to the switch statement. Now why is the break keyword here important? It is important because if you do not break, the switch statement would keep going to other cases and even executing them even though the case conditions does not match the expression. Now what do I mean? Let's say I change this back to 60 and 100 minus 60 is 40, which means it's going to meet this case. If I remove this break from here my editor is already complaining I would see how I can just ignore that so here at the top I'm going to ignore the fall through warning so now that I have removed the break if I come here and I run no test look at what happens so it says result is 40 because it actually meets this case 100 minus 60 but then it went to the next case and still logged result is 90 but the confusing thing here is that 100 minus 60 is not even 90 so why exactly is this block still also running and this is what we call fall through in switch statement fall through is a scenario where you do not include a break tag and then the switch statement just keeps going until it encounters a break tag so if i come here and i also 
also remove this break tag from the case 90. If I run no test, you see result is 40 is logged because it actually meets this case. But then the fall through continues to case 90 and to case 50. And then we have result is 50 before it encounters this break tag. If I come here and I change this to 10, now 100 minus 10 is 90. So the switch statement is not going to pass this case. Instead, the switch statement is going to start from here before it continues with the fall through. And I can show you here if I run no test, you see result is 40 is not logged here that's because this case doesn't meet the expression but then this case meets the expression so it logs result is 90 here and because we do not use a break tag then it continues to the next case and then it logs result is 50 so basically the switch statement is going to start from the first case that meets the expressions return value and then it keeps going all through other cases even though they don't meet the expressions returns value it will just keep going until it encounters the next break tag so same thing if i remove the break tag from this case 50 and i run no test you can see that even the default block is also run that's because the case 50 doesn't have a break so it's still going to continue to the default i also want to add that you can only have one default block in a switch statement you cannot have multiple default blocks and also the default block doesn't have to be at the end although in many applications you see the default block is at the end but i can as well take this default block to let's say before case 90 just here i can have the default block here like this so if i come here and i do 100 minus 1 100 minus 1 is 99 and since it doesn't meet any of this case here if i run this you'd see that the default block is still run which is i don't know the result now what if we also take this break statement from this default block then a fall through is still going to happen and i'm going to show you so you can see because none of these cases here meet the expression then the switch statement would start its execution from the default block which is i don't know the result but because we do not have any break tag in the default block then the switch statement is just going to continue falling through and executing the code for the other cases so this is why it's important to use the break tag because if you do not use the break tag then you may have some unexpected issues that you do not want because of follow through so if i come here and i apply the break tag to all of this if i come back here and i run the test you can see i don't know the result and after the switch statement executes this then it breaks and it doesn't continue in some cases however you can use the concept of fall through to your advantage but i'm not going to be doing that in this video i'll be making a separate video for switch statements fall through and when that video is published i'm going to leave a link to that in the video description hopefully i get to do that soon but one other thing i want to show you which switch statement is before i do that let me just take this default to the end so i don't confuse myself you can see that for the cases here we have literal values like 40 50 be it a number be it a string be it a boolean but what if you want to pass an expression here an expression like maybe greater than 50 how do you do that in switch statements well you cannot do something like this you cannot say case greater than 50 you also cannot say case expression greater than 50 like this i can try this for you so let's say we're going to log result is greater than 50. if i come here and i run no test you can see it goes straight to i don't know the result even though actually the result of this expression is greater than 50. So how do you do that with switch statements when you want some case conditions that are not literal value? Then what you're going to do is in this switch statement, instead of passing the expression, you're going to pass true. And what this means is that now you can use case conditions in these cases. So here you can have expression greater than 50 like this. If I come here and I run no test, you can see that result is greater than 50. This true just means that the switch statement is just going to be executing expressions that are true. Here I can also say expression expression greater than 90 and then here i can say result is greater than 90 and i'm actually going to put this on top like this so if i come here and i run the test you can see result is greater than 90 because 100 minus 1 is 99 and 99 is greater than 90 and as you'd expect if i remove the break tag from here and i run the test whether this condition is true or it's false we are going to have a fall through because this case has already been met we have result is greater than 90 the switch statement is just going to keep Keep going through all other cases until it encounters the next break tag and since it encounters the break tag here then we have result is greater than 50 and then the switch statement stops its execution so in this video i've shown you different ways in which the switch statement is different from the if statement but you have seen that this switch statement actually switches through different cases
case values of a specified expression. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and also subscribe for more simplified content like this.